Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam and we are already in 2022. <laughs> so happy new year again. I have already said happy new year nine days back. So as you might have already seen uh, in 2022, we have recently launched RPA Tools UiPath Hackathon. So just wondering whether all of you have participated in it. And if not, just go ahead and click on this video right now so that you can be able to part of the hackathon with us. So the most important topic that today we are going to cover is how can we create folder in a new UiPath orchestrator? So the orchestrator which I'm currently using this is the latest version of the orchestrator, okay? And uh, this is my UiPath MVP license. Let me go to admin. And the version which I'm using is UiPath orchestrator 2021.12. So most of people have asked this question and uh, they wanted to know how can we create a new folder and assign an unattended robot inside that specific folder to a specific machine, okay? Now to address this question, I have planned this video. In this video, we are going to go ahead and see how can we create a new folder in the modern folder concepts, right? And how can we connect unattended robot license with it? So the first thing that we have to do is log into our cloud account, which is cloud.uipath.com. Now, as soon as we have logged in, now check how many tenants do you have? So go to admin. Currently, I have two tenants. So make sure one of the tenant has to have the license allocated of the unattended robot. First of all, go to licenses tab, check if you have unattended robot license. So I have one production unattended robot license. Okay. Now go back to tenant and check which tenant has allocated the license. Now my UiPath MVP tenant has production attended, testing attended and automation developer. So I have one license available. Okay. For the UiPath MVP tenant. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and launch this orchestrator. So you can also assign the robot to the, or the license to the specific tenant that you want to create, right? Now, once I am in this tenant, as you can see, this is my UiPath MVP tenant. You can switch between tenants right from here in this new orchestrator. So this is the new orchestrator, how it looks. Most of people are confused, you know, how, how to use it. So that's why we are here now. How can we create a folder first of all? So let's go to the folder. And here we have to click and create a new folder right here. But before creating a new folder, in order to create unattended robot, we need two important things. The first important thing is the user. On which user's account are we going to create unattended user, uh, robot? And second is a machine. <clears throat> so let's go back and first of all, start from the first and important thing, which is user. So let me open the notepad. So we are going to get started from the first step, which is assigning access to user. Okay. So let's go. And I want to do, uh, so as I have logged in using my Mr. Kadam 23 email. So this is the admin user. So I will go here and click on edit. <clears throat> now inside edit, as you can see, this is the first page where my users and roles have been written. I will go to the next page where I have to enable unattended robot for this specific machine. Now, if this is not enabled, you will not be able to utilize unattended robot or you will not be able to create an attended robot for the specific user. So you have to enable this unattended robot checkpoint. So I have enabled it already. Now you have to give your domain name. Okay, then credential store, the password, and that's it. And then just hit next. Check the log settings if you want to modify anything and then submit. So as of now, what I have done is I have just created this one and that's it. Okay, so for other users, I don't want it. So I just created for this particular user, right? Now we have enabled the unattended robots. What we have done is we have enabled Sorry for this unattended robot for user. Okay. Now the sec third step that you want to do is create machine template. Okay. So let's go. 
and let's create a machine template. So let's go to machine. Now, before we create a machine template, you have to understand and you have to find out which machine you want to create this robot for. So there are two ways to find out. First is go to command prompt and find out the machine name. And the second one is go to UiPath assistant. Click here, go to preference in UiPath assistant. And in UiPath assistant preferences, go to orchestrator settings where you will have connection type, change it to machine key and you will have your machine name. So copy this machine name, come back here and create a machine template. And then <clears throat> this is my, let's say personal machine and give allocate license to this machine, which is production unattended one license. Okay. All the process types and process compatibility are supported and don't change anything here unless you want to, and then just say probation. So machine is created, which is a personal machine template. Now let's copy the machine key. Okay. And keep it stored somewhere as of now, I'm not going to copy it right here. Okay. So now let's move to the next step, which is creating a folder. So let's go ahead and say, create a folder. So go back to the folders, click on this new plus button and give it a name as a folder. Okay. Keep it tenant package feed, create. And in this UiPath MVP folder, already my user is coming here as admin Nessar Kadam, folder administrator. You can change the permissions if you want, right from here, edit and you can change it. Go back to the folder and add the machine that we just created. So click on machines and add this machine and say update. That's it. Now, now that we have created a folder, we have already have the default user. If you want, you can click here and assign one more user. If you want, let's say digital Nessar. So you can also add this user and you can also add the role based, uh, you know, permissions that you want to give to this specific user. So I just want to keep this as automation user. That's it. So I will say assign and this user is also added. So that's how you can add the users and you can add multiple machines as well in a specific folder. Now I just wanted one machine to be added here in this specific folder. So I added only one machine. Now, once I have added one machine to this folder, let's go and check the license. So currently production unattended, there is 0% utilization. So there are no robots allocated right now. So what we have to do, let's go back to folders. We have created user, we have created a folder and we have assigned this machine. Now let's go back to machines, copy the machine key open your UiPath assistant and paste the machine key right here. And in the orchestrator URL, you have to find the orchestrator URL. So my orchestrator URL is this. So we'll copy it, come back here and paste it here. That's it. And hit on connect button. So once you click connect, it shows you connected and licensed. That means now you are connected to this particular machine with unattended robot. Let's go back to folder UiPath MVP and check the monitoring tab. In the monitoring tab, if you see one runtime, which is desktop and production unattended available, that means your robot is now available. And how do you want to verify at one more place? So go back to licenses and verify that if the runtime license is being used. So click on see more and you can see for this specific machine, for this specific service user, for this specific machine, you have one unattended robot license active. So if you have multiple uh, robots created, and if you want to enable a specific license only, so you can also deactivate any one of them and activate only one which you want to utilize for the current time being. So that also can be done. Now, as I have only one machine and one license, so it is allocated now. Now, how do I verify? So open UiPath Studio. And in, in UiPath Studio, I can see below once it opens. So the UiPath Studio is also of the latest version, which is 21.4.4. I have to update it yet. So once I will update it, but before that we can see obviously 
as you can see below you will see one small indication that detected unattended robot as a license type based on the terms and conditions this license should be used only for troubleshooting purpose right so this license can be used only for executing purpose so i have installed uipath studio as well which is not supposed to be installed on the same machine where unattended robot license is used but as this is my personal laptop that's why i have utilized this functionality but yes in this video we have seen right from the beginning how to create an attended robot for a specific folder right first of all what we have done is we have came to the cloud account which is cloud.uipath.com then we went to the admin and we checked whether we have a license of uipath unattended robot which is production unattended robot right once that is done we came back to tenant we checked whether this license is allocated to a specific tenant once the license is allocated to the tenant then we went inside the uipath orchestrator and inside uipath orchestrator what did we do is the first thing that you go to tenant go to manage access for the user that you want to create this unattended robot give permission so go to robot setup and enable unattended robot here the second thing that you have to do is go to machines and create a machine and to get the machine name you have to go to the uipath assistance orchestrator settings and change the connection type to machine key and once this is done get the machine name create a template machine because uh, this is a modern folder so create a template machine copy the machine key then go to folder create a specific folder and for that specific folder you have to allocate users and machines and once you allocate both the things then go ahead and copy the machine key right here and copy the orchestrator url and then you are good to go so that's how you can utilize your uipath orchestrator unattended license and you can create an attended robot for your specific machine so i hope this video has helped you a lot and this is specifically designed for the new orchestrator so thank you so much for watching this video and let me know if you want to see any other uipath robot connection and how it is done thank you again and take care